look at what happened. That's where he got hit. And those pops, those are shots. The last time I felt this much inner shock and turmoil and just distress over something that's happened in society was the 9-11 attacks. To see humanity take something to this level of barbarism where we have to shoot someone because we don't like them is just embarrassing. It embarrasses me to be another person on the planet with, with people that think they have to, to assassinate a potential candidate because they don't agree with their politics. When someone acts out of has that much rage and, and, and simplifies himself to the level of taking physical violence, it makes me realize we're just this far away from monkeys throwing rocks at each other from trees. The level of sadness and depression and complete loss of faith in humanity that something like this has within me is profound. I have zero respect for anyone that does something like this. It just makes me mad. It hurts to see anyone, regardless of, of your support for them, have to go through something like this. This is the worst thing I've seen in at least 20 years. I had to step outside for just a few minutes and get away to think about things. And I'll tell you what, I know enough about people to tell you two things. First of all, Trump's going to win the election because of this. It's, it's written on the wall. And you're going to see this picture everywhere. See that picture right there? That was a photo that was taken at the event. And you will see that everywhere in the next coming, however long until the election is. And the second thing, both sides are gonna use this to support their own agendas. What I'm really interested to see is how the gun rights supporters and the Second Amendment people <laughs> react to Trump uh, getting shot because they're typically conservatives and support him. So after an assassination where the candidate almost gets taken out by a gun, I really want to see what they have to say. I'll bet you right now, I'll bet you big shiny quarter, there's no change in their agenda. None whatsoever. When Trump got shot, that was an event, a, a demonstration of the depravity of humanity that hasn't been seen in 40 years. And I'm talking about since the assassination attempt of Reagan in 43, where someone has to stoop to such a low level because they're too dumb and too stupid to counter with logic and reason that they have to try to shoot and kill someone. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you, this, this isn't a secret. I'm not going to tell you a secret. This is a well-known fact. If you have to resort to violence, or if anyone has, not you, not you, if anyone else has to resort to violence to prove their point, they have already lost on two counts. First, they have proven that their position is inferior to that other person's position. And they've also proven that they as a person are inferior to that other person. And that's because when they, when they take a shot at someone and the best they can use is use brutal force to try to get their way, that proves that their, their belief, their position, whatever it is that they hold dear, has nothing better to offer. There's nothing about what they believe that can overcome that other person's position. So they have to take it upon themselves to take that person out. And that leads into the second point. When you shoot someone, when you, God, I just, I just, sorry, I have to take breath. I just can't get over it. But when you resort to violence, you've proven that there's nothing, you, you've taken your language, your level of communication down to such a stupid, dumb, prehistoric level that instead of using your higher brain functions and your intelligence and your logic and reason to argue against them, you're, you're saying, I'm too stupid to know what to say or do. I better shoot them. And that person, what that, what that means is that other person is more intelligent, they're smarter, they're brighter, they're more articulate than you are. And I'll tell you what, everyone who stands on the outside and sees something like this occur, where they see someone perpetrate violence on someone else, they know, they know right away that the aggressor is the dumb one. And whatever it is that's making them do it is the losing cause. So, you know, I guess the moral of the story is it's the same thing I tell my toddler. When you get frustrated, don't have a fit or a tantrum. Don't hit the dogs. Don't throw something at me. Just use your words. That's the best way to resolve it. Just, just try using some words. See what happens.